Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to solve a multi-mesh circuit by using only Kirchhoff's law. In this circuit we have we have two meshes which is mesh 1, the left one, the right one is mesh 2 and the external one which is the third one. Now before we begin our solution I assigned arbitrarily the branch currents with the directions that you see here. Also since we are going to use KVL I'm going to begin moving counterclockwise from node A through the circuit through B and then back into A. So for mesh 1 I'm going to move like this, mesh 2 I'm going to move like this and for the external mesh 3 I'm going to move like so. The last rule we are going to need is that as we move counterclockwise if I find the negative terminal of, of the battery I'm going to take it as a positive source if I'm running along the branch current I'm going to take that current as positive and if I'm running against it then the current will be negative and if I find the positive terminal of the battery then I'm going to take that battery as negative so Let's begin with KVL. And let's find the equation for mesh 1. So, starting counterclockwise from A, I find the battery, negative terminal, so it's positive 6. I move along and find the negative terminal of the 12 volts so it's positive 12 which is equal to 5 times positive I1 because I'm running along with it so it's 5 I1 then I'm running along I2 so it's positive 10 I2 and I finished with mesh 1. So let's tidy this up. So I have 5I1 plus 10I2 equals 18 volts. And this is equation 1. Now for mesh 2. Again, counterclockwise, I find the positive terminal of the battery, so I have negative 12 to be equal. I'm running against I2, so it's going to be minus 10 I2, and running against I3, so it's going to be negative 100 I3. By tidying up again, I have 10 I2 plus 100 I3 equals 12 and this is equation 2 now for the external mesh mesh 3 if I begin again from A positive 6 and I don't have any other sources to be equal with 5 times I1 run through B and then go in this branch so it's going to be negative 100 I3 so this is 5 I1 minus 100 I3 which is equal to 6 volts and this is equation number now, three. In order to continue, I would like to combine two and three 
so I would only have I1 and I2 so I can combine it with the first equation and solve the uh, system with three equations and three unknowns. So, from two and three, I say that I have 10 I2 plus 100 I3 equals 12 and the other one is 5 I1 minus 100 I3 to be equal with 6. So I do not need to modify any of these questions, any of these equations. So I just add them up. These two cancel each other and I am left with 5 I1 plus 10 I2 equals 18. And this is equation 1. So, by using the third equation, the third mesh with KVL, I do not have any extra information. So there is no extra information that I can use to solve my circuit. So in order to overcome this issue, I'm going to use KCL instead at node A. If you remember, with KCL I take that the currents entering the node are positive and, and the ones exiting that node are negative. So in this case KCL I have that I2 is entering A and I1 and I3 are exiting. So I2 minus I1 minus I3 is equal to 0. And if I wish to isolate I3, I have that I3 is equal to I2 minus I1. And this is equation 4. So, I can use that with equation 3. or 2, whichever you prefer, and I get that this is 5 I1 minus 100 I3, which is equal to 6, and I3 is equal to I2 minus I1. So if I just substitute I3 there, I get that it is 5 I1 minus 100 times I2 minus I1 which is equal to 6 and this is equal to 105 I1 minus 100 I2 which is equal to 6 and this is equation 5 so now I can use equations 1 and 5 as they have the same unknowns so I have 5 I1 plus 10 I2 equals 18 and 105 I1 minus 100 I2 equals to 6. So I'll, multi I'll multiply the first equation by 100, by 10, sorry, like this. So I make them 
50 I1 plus 100 I2 equals 180. And the other one is 105 I1 minus 100 I2 equals 6. So the I2s are leaving and we are left with 155 I1 to be equal to 186. We can now divide with the coefficient of the unknown. So I1 is equal to 186 over 155 which gives us I1 to be 1.2 amps. And so we can use this value here into any one of the three original. Let's use it to number one. So if I isolate I2, I'm going to have 18 minus 5i1 over 10. This is 18 minus 5 times 1.2 over 10, which also gives us an I2 of 1.2 amps. And by using, by using now KCL, we find out that I3 is equal to 0 amps.